Hey there, folks. I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince. And welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Who doesn't like Leica animation? Next to Tim Burton, Ray Harryhausen, and Aardman, this studio is behind some of the most greatest stop-motion films ever. Of course, everyone knows about their work, which began with Coraline, as well as works like Paranorman and The Box Trolls, which I've already blogged. But, just several days ago, Leica just released a new movie. But, you may be asking, does it stand out as one of their best works? Well, let's find out. Released on August 19th, 2016, the movie is Kubo and the Two Strings. So... Let's begin. Young Kubo's peaceful existence comes crashing down when he accidentally summons a vengeful spirit from the past. Now on the run, Kubo joins forces with Monkey and Beetle to unlock a secret legacy armed with a magical instrument. Kubo must battle the Moon King and the other gods and monsters to save his family and solve the mystery of, the, of his fallen father, the greatest samurai warrior the world has ever known. So, what are my thoughts? Well, I just gotta say, whoa! This movie blew me away. And I hardly blinked while watching this. But in order to explain why I like this film, let's move on to Mustang Notes. Now, on December 22nd, 2014, Leica and Focus Features announced that the production began on a, uh, 3D stop-motion animated film known as Kubo and the Two Strings, which Leica's CEO, Travis Knight, would make his directorial debut, based on an original story by Shannon Tindall and written by Mark Hames and Chris Butler. Now, let's move on to the animation. Now, this style of stop-motion is just incredible. Some parts of it almost look like as if it was computer-generated, some of my favorite parts of this movie are with the origami figures, including the monsters, and the awesome fight scenes. And since this movie takes place in Japan, the music really gets me in a relaxing mood. Plus, Kubo's mandolin makes great music, too. Now, what are my feelings on the story, though? Hmm. Well, I feel this story was very intense and very interesting. Plus, it does great at explaining that the folks you love will never be taken away from you as long as you remember them. Now that we're done with Mustang Notes, let's move on to the characters and their voice actors. Our hero, Kubo, is voiced by Art Parkinson, who last year was in San Andreas. What I like about this young lad is his talent of storytelling and his ability to make origami shapes come to life with his mandolin. I also like that he cares for his mother, and plus, what happened to his eye at the beginning of the film was actually very shocking to me. Next we have Monkey, aka Kubo's mother, voiced by Charlize Theron. Known for being in the Huntsman films. She is one of the Moon King's daughters who reincarnated as Monkey after she was killed by her sisters. As a human, she was brave, caring, and protective. But as Monkey, she's strict and wise. Next up is Beetle a.k.a. Hanzo, voiced by Matthew McConaughey, who will be in the upcoming Sing movie this December. He is Kubo's father, who was transformed by the sisters into a beetle-like hybrid with no recollection of his true identity, believing that he used to be Hanzo's apprentice. To me, he's very, like, a very brave character, and a pretty funny one at times. Plus, he almost reminds me of Frank Kerr from A Monster in Paris. 
our villain of the film, Raiden the Moon King, who happens to be Kubo's grandfather, is voiced by Lord Voldemort himself, Ralph Fiennes. Who's also in films like The Prince of Egypt, Walls and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, and also the recent Titans movies. Well, he doesn't appear too much in this film, he does seem like a really threatening villain. Plus, his alter ego while battling Kubo is really frightening. Finally, we come to the Moon Sisters, both voiced by Rooney Mara. Who is in the American version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo? The Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 remake, and, of course, Pan. Now, these two are actually Kubo's evil aunts. Plus, they're really frightening with how they talk. Also, their masks make me think of V for Vendetta. What's more, their fighting style is wicked fast. And it's scary when they use smoke from their pipes to destroy everything and hurt people. The rest of the cast includes George Takai, Hiroyuki Tagawa, and Brenda Vaccaro. And now it's time to move on to my final words. Overall, Kubo and the Two Strings is an incredible movie and one of Laika's finest pieces of work. The animation is awesome. The characters from Kubo, Monkey, and Beetle are unforgettable. The villains like the Moon Sisters and the Moon King are really threatening. And the story is just... <sighs> incredible. If you ever get a chance to see this movie in theaters, then go see it now. I guarantee you that you'll be blown away. I give this film the highest rating of 100%. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me again for my next blog, Mustang Power.